Hi, I'm Madonna and this is Shelby. So this time we're going to actually see if the two nuclei of the amygdala are communicating with each other. So there's only about 250 million neurons that connect the two sides of the amygdala and I don't know how they know these numbers. I just hear these things of courses and they stick in my brain and I'm sure if, you know, anyway, so about 250 million neurons is what I learned connecting the two sides of the amygdala. So the amygdala is all about fight and flight, escape, submission, freeze, rage and anger, pain and punishment circuits. It's when your pleasure reward centers get switched off deliberately so that you don't relax and be happy because then the tiger will pounce. So the amygdala, really important. But what we're going to do before all of those points is see whether the two sides are communicating. Because if they're not, the brain can get stuck in one hemisphere of the brain. So let's go have a look and see what's happening. And if it's perfect, I'll create some stress, okay? <laughs> so that we'll, we'll sort of check it anyway. So going into the amygdala. So I'm going anatomy, organ, CV24, and then I put in CV24, CV23 together with anatomy. And then I'm going to put in the amygdala point and then check from, put in the connection between the left and right amygdala so that's just energetically saying to the brain, okay brain, what's happening from left to right here? And then we see if it locks or unlocks. Hold out nice and strong. And once again, not a bad unlock. It, there was a bit of strength in there, but not 100%. So what that can mean, so I'll start pulsing it anyway. So once again, amygdala, point, and then I'll go down through here and we'll start chatting about that. Okay, so it's the escape, submission, freeze points. So, if there's not enough connections from the left to the right amygdala, the amygdala means almond, it's a little nuclei about the size of an almond in the brain, or two almonds. So, and basically, one of them is on the logical hemisphere of the brain, the left, and one's on the gestalt side of the brain, the right. So, if you don't have enough connections, and then you're having a stressy day, then what do you do when you're stressed? I've... I know you love the sunshine and the beach. Yeah. Uh, I have a few techniques that I go through depending on what I think will help. Uh, I've got breathing exercises. I um, do the the sensory thing, you know, the five you going through the senses. Yes. Um, I have a poem that I recite just to keep the brain. Yeah, I've got a few things okay. that I go through. So with the poetry and that sort of thing, so would you think that your corrections that you do for yourself are more emotionally based or logically based? They tend to, the sensory I think is more emotional about grounding myself. Yes. Whereas the poem is more logical. Yeah, about, that's what I was yeah. thinking. You've got a nice combination. That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Good one. So, so basically you can imagine if you don't have these connections and just say only the left amygdala was working, that means you could only sort it through logically, whereas sometimes when we're anxious, it's actually an emotional issue. So sometimes if someone comes in with us at logic when we're emotional, it just irritates the hell out of us. I you know, people do that. Oh, it's not yeah, this is not a logical issue. I know it's not a logical <laughs> issue. Leave me alone. So, yeah. So basically, when they're not connecting properly, what you want with the amygdala is those two nuclei connecting to each other. So firstly, they're feeling it emotionally and logically. And then as the neurons come back to balance with the exercises she does, you want that logical and creative hemispheres to both be kicking in. So that was escape submission freeze. I'm going to stack it in again and see if there's any more we need to do. And again, hold out for me. That's a pretty good lock. So now let's have a look and ask, so what would your biggest, so with your anxiety, is it a fear of something? Is it a being alone? Is it, like, is there something specific? There's really not. Yeah. Um, I, it used to be, when I first noticed it more prominently, it used to be more people related. Yes. But I took steps to overcome that. I started volunteering more at Meals on Wheels so that I was interact with pe interacting with people more and therefore forcing myself to adjust that little yeah, bit. Yeah, beautiful. Um, but now that the anxiety's progressed and worked in different ways, it can, it, it's really circumstantial. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, well, which is probably, once again, more about nutrients in the neurons rather than about old traumas and stuff, would you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so once again, let's check in relate. Let's check in relation to the human factor. And again, hold. So that's actually pretty good. Well done. Let's check in relation to once again just a lack of GABA. And hold. Yeah, right. So GABA is an anti-anxiety nutrient that our brain should be making. It requires a whole bunch of nutrients, even B vitamins and things like that can all help. Uh, and it also requires things like, well, there's the GABA, but there's a whole bunch of precursors, you mm. know, to sort of making it. But part of what tends to happen is that we get too much glutamate in the brain. Glutamate is excitatory. So it excites the neurons. <laughs> Yay! And causes anxiety. So then if the brain isn't working properly, oh, that's right, your head injuries. Ha ha. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, so if for some reason the muscles are too tight and you're not actually detoxing your brain properly with the cerebrospinal fluid moving up and down the spine, with the fluid around your brain, if your neck muscles are too tight, then the lymph doesn't work to get rid of all that glutamate. So the glutamate just excites your neurons, makes them crazy. Do you get the heart palpitations as well? Yes. Yeah. Huge heart-brain connection. But that one was fear, threat, danger. So when the uh, GABA is low, glutamate is high, the body just starts to fear things. And it doesn't have to be anything specific. That's the problem. Okay, so in relation to the lack of GABA... And hold. Beautiful. Hmm. And I always run the central meridian up to finish off with anything. Cool. Thank you. So that's the connection from left to right sides of the amygdala. Those neurons need support. So hope that was useful. Thank you. That's awesome.